Magnesium comes in many different forms, like nine different forms, glycinate, citrate. Today, we're going to talk about magnesium threonate. This is a very specific type of magnesium where this threonate molecule transports magnesium across the blood-brain barrier, specifically to the hippocampus, which is involved in memory, learning, focus, concentration, everything cognitive as well as the cerebral cortex, which is involved in a lot of higher level processing of the brain. And the main reason why someone would use this type of magnesium versus other types is they want to improve something about the brain because all these other forms don't necessarily penetrate the blood brain barrier. So let's talk about some of the benefits. Magnesium is generally uh, involved in making ATP, which is the energy currency of the body. And so since uh, the brain uses 20% of all of your ATP, and it only comprises 2% of the actual weight, it's kind of an ATP hog. And so if there's a magnesium deficiency and you can't make enough ATP, you're going to get brain fog. You can have confusion. You can have all sorts of problems with your neurons. And also a very specific problem with the neurotransmitter called GABA, which is an inhibitory neurotransmitter that calms things down. It buffers anxiety, right? It keeps you nice and relaxed. And if you're deficient in magnesium and you don't have enough GABA, you're going to be a little bit on edge. You might have a bit of uh, anxiousness, worry, things like that. And this is why magnesium threonate is really good for that brain chatter, that excessive worrying, especially at night when you're trying to sleep. Now, if you add that to a natural form of B1, boy, I think you'll have an awesome combination to help you with that specific issue. And if we think about another function of magnesium, it's a electrolyte, right? Electrolytes help with not just your muscles, but your nerves. Like the pacemaker of your heart, for example, needs these electrolytes. Well, isn't your brain neurological? The answer is yes. So when you're deficient in magnesium, you can start developing problems with your neurology. And two specific problems are related to that. Number one, neuroinflammation as well as neurodegeneration. And this is why people with Parkinson's and Alzheimer's and even MS are nearly always deficient in magnesium. And one uh, key point about MS, don't forget vitamin D. In other words, magnesium is a requirement for vitamin D and vitamin D is also a requirement for magnesium to work in the body. And those two are so essential in anything autoimmune, including MS or virtually any inflammation at all. It's a calcium regulator. It's a calcium antagonist. And so people that have hypercalcemia, too much calcium in the blood, nearly always has a problem with the brain. Okay, there's all these issues. If you just look up uh, hypercalcemia in the side effects, you're going to see confusion. You're going to see memory loss. You're going to see depression, anxiety, problems with the cognitive function. So it's very dangerous to have calcium build up in the brain. Well, one reason is you don't have enough magnesium in the brain to regulate that calcium. So magnesium keeps the calcium from being stuck in the cells in the brain, not to mention in other parts of the body too, like the kidneys, like the joints, just like vitamin K2 also uh, helps regulate and keeps that calcium from building up in the arteries and the joints. A couple other interesting benefits of magnesium, uh, it helps maintain and support the blood brain barrier. You see, you have this barrier in the brain, right? That protects the brain against certain things like infections, toxicity. You also have a barrier in your gut as well to protect things from going deeper inside. So just like you can have a leaky gut, you can also have a leaky blood brain barrier and magnesium can help support that and help prevent that from happening. Magnesium helps to prevent oxidative stress. So it can act as an antioxidant Magnesium helps support this thing called BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor. You can look at that as like miracle growth for the brain. It helps the brain neurons to grow and develop because as we get older and as we eat the wrong foods, our brain actually atrophies and gets smaller. So anything that supports this BDNF is a good thing and magnesium is one of them. Fasting is another, exercise is another one. Now, just as a side note, okay, since we're on the topic of magnesium threonate, it's also good for something called androgenic alopecia. That is hair loss that comes in patches that has developed from high levels of androgens. 
especially if someone has something called polycystic ovarian syndrome. So there are a few other benefits that go beyond just supporting the brain that this product can help you with. And so the point of this video is this, there are different types or different forms of magnesium for different conditions. Definitely, if you have any type of brain issues, magnesium threonate, uh, for a lot of other types of issues, cramping, fatigue, heart stuff, I would use magnesium glycinate. You can also use magnesium citrate. That does work as well, especially like preventing kidney stones. Now, because of the censoring and the suppressing of the algorithms on YouTube, it's becoming more difficult to find my content. And there's a lot of content that I cannot put on YouTube, unfortunately. So to make sure you have full access of all my information, go to drberg.com and subscribe to my newsletter by clicking the link down below in the description. I will see you on the other side.